One of the first games in the Dragon Ball franchise to be published by Bandai Namco was Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. It's a turn-based RPG that follows the story of the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament all the way up to the Vegeta fight of the Saiyan Saga, and it desperately needs a sequel. The ending of the base game actually teases Frieza, but we never got anything past that, which is really unfortunate. As it so happens, there exists a Discord server that is committed to modding the game, which you can check out in the description below. The interesting thing about this game is that you get to fight Raditz more than once and uh, I'm playing a bit of a modified version right now and he's, he's, he's not really in the right place I'll be honest but hey that's alright it doesn't matter we don't have to worry about the details we just have to beat him well there's one slight problem the creator of the mod kind of made Gregory too strong he, you'll see what I mean here just just watch this <laughs> I mean, hey, technically I could beat him on my own with a bunch of Meteor combinations, but, you know, Gregory, will, he'll, he'll get the job done just fine, no need to worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit and just show you guys a pretty interesting feature about this mod. There's actually a debug room that was discovered by Orsted, I think, if I'm saying that right. Um, it, it, it's a pretty wild debug room, I never would have expected it. We'll show you guys here. So even though this debug room is still in development, there's still a bunch of stuff you can do. Uh, for example, you can go into different chapters throughout the game with pretty much any character you want. You can add or remove characters. Uh, you can change your character clothes into stuff you wouldn't normally have. And you can even teleport around the entire world, different locations. Although some of them can soft lock you, so just be careful. And uh, you can even go into a bit of a boss selector. You can fight a bunch of enemies, you know, whoever you want. Like for instance, check this out, Goku and Gohan fighting Android 8 and General White from the original Dragon Ball saga, if you remember them. And I've changed Goku's clothes to remove that undershirt, so it's just the plain orange gi, which is pretty nice. But let's go into the main event, let's fight this custom boss that was added. Yes, yeah, the big, uh, I was about to say the big Getty tree, nice. Good logic, it's the tree of might, bro. <laughs> Look at that custom sprite. And that's definitely not Turles there, that mug shot. Uh, like I said, there is a bunch of stuff still in development, but yeah, as you may have guessed, this is actually one of the points in time which you fight Raditz in the base game, which has been replaced by Turles. In fact, in the original game, this is the boss fight to obtain the Spirit Bomb, I believe. Gotta admit, it's so surreal seeing like mods for this game after so long. Like, even if they're just retextures or stuff like that, it's still pretty amazing. Yes sir, get that good combination action. Now technically this is sort of canon, you, you could say it's canon, so it, it's not completely false. We'll get a good sparking combo here, a good Saiyan attack, we'll show them how it's done. It's one of the features I love about this game that I really think could have been improved on as well, the sparking combos, because a bunch of them are just two normal attacks, normal super attacks that have been combined together, but some of them are custom. And we'll hit that good Kaioken action. While he's just beating up Gohan. <laughs> and we're just gonna regular attack Turles. Get him out of here with that. But I do want to try the fight again right now, just to see if I can end off with that spirit bomb. Ah oh, yeah, I forgot that after using the Kaioken, if you don't have the right equipment, Goku gets stunned. Which is actually, uh, that's actually a nice feature. I like that they keep that sort of drawback feature in these games, it's really nice. And here we go, here's that good spirit bomb action, you love to see it. Get that good Genki Dama moment.
And there he goes. GG. You may not know this, but later on in the base game, you can collect a special set of Dragon Balls created from none other than Mr. Popo and use them to summon one of the most unexpected bosses ever. <laughs> I'll let you see what I mean. And I thought I might change up Goku's clothing again just cause, yep, you, you already see it, the good Kakarot. Our man Broly is in this game for some reason, I don't know why, <laughs> but that's awesome. And this man is hard, if you don't have the right level, if you don't have the right equipment, all the good stats, you, you're done for. This man will obliterate you, so just watch yourself when you're fighting this guy. Why does this man keep screaming Kakarot and just powering up? Oh my god. <laughs> it's hard enough, bro. Don't make it harder, please. Fun tip, using items really gives you an edge. It really helps you out, so be sure to use them if you're fighting him. Oh my god, how'd he get me, bro? Come on, one kick and I'm down. No, bro, no. no alright, let's try this again, alright? And he immediately hits me with two attacks, come on. Bro, you're cheating for real. Like, I know you're a Super Saiyan, but come on. Oof, I took the brunt of that attack. Not in my recovery strong, and I'm dead. I'm dead. I I even had the sh I even had the Zanzoken, and I'm gone. I had the after image, and I'm gone. Bruh. One more time, shall we? Let's give it one more go. Come on. <laughs> Level sixty nine Goku, you gotta beat him, bro. Spam the good Kaioken action. Come on. Just gotta avoid those super attacks, man. Yeesh. What were they thinking when they put Broly in the game? They could have put anyone, like Dr. Wheelow was an unused boss. They, I didn't see any evidence of Turles, we had to custom add that in. Like, what were they thinking when they added the legendary Super Saiyan into the Saiyan saga? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what were they on? I'm considering using the Spirit Bomb, but... I don't know, bro, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Why not? I'm gonna go for it. And it's a max powered one. Here we go. Let's see how much damage it does. 12k and disintegrates him. He's gone, skis, bro. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly defeated. That was Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saints. What do you think? Do you think it deserves a sequel? Let me know in the comments below if you've played it or not. If you want to play it, chuck a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you wish. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.